here's the uh, passenger side manifold for the on three kit. This is going to be the driver side manifold. Uh, I did notice this kit doesn't come with bolts, so I'm going to reuse the bolts from the uh, bolts of the headers. Those are also uh, comedic gaskets, so I'm going to use them as well. The uh, driver's side manifold went on really easy. Um, not much to it at all. Doing it in the car would probably suck. But with the car in the air and uh, doing it like this, not bad at all. Alright, so I got the headers all tightened down. I am going to crank down on the headers because they're not going to come back out. Unless it interferes with putting the motor in the car. But this side won't. Um, other than that, as I assemble the kit, I'm going to leave everything loose so it'll wiggle around a little bit so I can make sure it all lines up. On3 sends you this little extension pipe. So it's a lot easier to do with the, with the motor outside of the car. Um, also, I had to use one stud and then this other bolt right here on the bottom that I'm pointing to, uh, this one right here. I had to cut uh, about a quarter of an inch off of that bolt to make it uh, so it would fit in there. You can see that that bends real tight. Um, we're using a factory style exhaust manifold gasket instead of the uh, graphite or whatever the heck comes in the kit. Just, I've had better luck this way. Um, main thing, bolt your headers up. You can crank them down as much as you want, get them as tight as you want, um, cause those are not gonna move. However, you do have this flex merger here, this little tiny pipe here, um, by the way, I will flip this V-band around later. That's bothered me. Um, also, this one will get flipped. This one will get flipped. This one will get flipped. Um, and that one will get flipped. Uh, also, you can use all, all bolts on this side. Everything here is no problem. But, so leave every, tighten down your manifolds. Put your merger on. Um, see here so this one is not exactly all the way tight yet so it's not completely snugged up but uh anyway tighten down your headers get that going 
I started on this side over here. I put this little piece on first, tightened down that V-band there, and then loosely put this V-band on. I didn't have anybody to help me, so I used a jack to support the merger and got this side over here close, put the V-band on, and then snugged it down somewhat. What you'll find out is if you don't have the, the merger up high enough, your uh, wastegate is gonna hit your balancer. You can see there's like barely any room in between the two. So lift up the merger somewhat and then snug that one and that one down. That way you can get your wastegate position right and you won't have to worry about the balancer part. Also, I left this loose for now just so I can aim it right. As for the downpipe, um, we were sent the wrong downpipe in the kit. So I had to make a trip back to on three and now it's back. Everything bolts up. You can see there the flange is right. I'll put some pictures of what the other flange look like. Um, where your 202 sensors go. The good part is that at first, because we had the wrong flange, we're like, does, was it backwards? Well, uh, we figured out later that this is the routing of it. So your O2s will go here. So it's far enough from the turbo that you won't kill them. Um, and then these have a, a, a male and a female on these sides. So it's easy to line them up. Just get them lined up, leave them loose though, as you snake this downpipe through the K-member. Like, it's, it's a tight fit. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like in the car yet, but uh, you know, we're gonna try this route before we just go out the fender with it. If we do go out the fender, we're gonna take this pipe here, probably cut it off here, turn it that way, and just shoot it right out the side. The computer isn't gonna be mounted um, in the engine bay, so that won't matter either. Um, but that's about it. Um, pretty much everything fits good. On three's customer service has been great. They they were missing one V band, and then they uh, they fixed this. Also, the compressor housing uh, had a little bit of damage from shipping, and they swapped that out too. But uh, that's all for uh, part one. Part two will be uh, getting this thing in the car.